All right, what's up, D bags? It's Reptile again. Back at it with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a nice, simple trick on your denim jackets that's going to make them stand out. Because let's face it, you throw a beer can at a punk show or a metal show or even the damn rodeo and you're going to be hitting like five other people in one of these things. So I'm going to be showing you a really simple, fast, easy trick just to make it pop. Just to make it different. All right, so check it out. So today I'm going to be talking about panel painting. For those of you who haven't heard the term, it's probably just because I came up with it. But panel painting is pretty much where you paint along the seams and the pretty much like the already existing cut of your denim jacket it doesn't have to be a denim jacket you can do it on leather jackets obviously i have a video about painting up a leather jacket you can check that out but today we're going to be specifically working on denim jackets so we're going to be painting along the seams of the denim jacket and it just adds a whole different effect instead of just having one color on your denim jacket it's, you can do multiple colors i guess but that's no fun we're only going to be doing two colors okay so Let's get right into it. So first things first, you're going to need some gloss acrylic paint. I always use black because you know me, I'm a very exciting person. So I always use the black gloss acrylic paint. I have a couple other videos talking about uh, the gloss black acrylic paint. It's good stuff. No, it does not wash off. It's not going to fall off in your mom's wash machine. You shouldn't be washing your clothes in the first place. But yes, gloss black. Uh, you can also use like other darker colors like red or you could even do white I guess like if you have like a black leather or a black denim jacket you want to accent it with white you know go right ahead and also instead of uh, acrylic paint you can use fabric paint you know it doesn't have to be acrylic but I like to use acrylic so obviously we got the paint you're gonna need some painters tape or even just regular tape will work, you know. Or if you're like a cheap bastard, you don't even have to use the tape. You could freehand it, you know, like that's mainly what I do. I just bought the tape to show you guys how to do it with the tape. Because I know you guys are slow. And you're going to need some sponge brushes. Like, hopefully you have some new sponge brushes. These ones are really old. They're all I got right now. But, you know, we make do. And, of course, you're going to need a denim jacket. A denim vest. Something in denim. You can get them at thrift stores. Secondhand stores, you can get them at department stores. Maybe one of your loser friends has one that they're willing to trade for something. But yes, this is the supplies. So let's go on to our next step. So this is an optional step. This is what I like to do. Whether I'm working on a leather jacket, a denim jacket, or I'm making bondage gear or whatever, I like to sketch it out first. Like Even if you suck at drawing, it's always good just to do like a really rough sketch. Um, of like what you want to of, of your project, you know and how you want it to look so as you can see here We have the jacket There's our jacket Here's the sketch and everything that is like a shaded in is what we're going to be painting today We're going to be doing the uh, let me get back here. We're gonna be doing the top collar these upper shoulder areas The pocket and pretty much this stripe going down the front of it. We're gonna be doing this line on this uh, side pocket We're doing this bottom trim right here and we're also going to be doing this uh, sleeve collar. I forget what these are called. I'm really bad at words. Sleeve collar. A cuff. A cuff. Le cuff. We're going to be painting that up too. But yeah, I have it all drawn out so I don't forget what I'm doing. Like I said, this is optional. You don't have to draw it out. But it does help in the long run. And on to the next step. So the next step will be taking our painter's tape. Scotch tape. Whatever tape you got. And we're just going to mark out everything that we're not going to paint. Um, reference back to your terrible drawing. And yeah, we're just going to mark everything off that we're going to paint. Okay, this should be pretty self-explanatory. I'll show you when I get there, okay? So we're laying the tape down. And uh, yeah, it's coming along nicely. Um, obvious, obviously, I know everything in here is going to be black. As so we're going to lay our black. And something that might help you is just having a razor blade. And just run a razor blade across these seams to pretty much just to 
fix up your tape. It could come in handy. You don't necessarily need it, but it will help if you have one lying around. Which I'm sure most of my viewers do have a razor blade or two hidden away somewhere. But anyway, I'm going to keep on laying this tape down. Check it out. So after you got your tape done, you want to really, really press it down so it sticks. Just go through the whole thing so it sticks. We're doing the front right now. We're going to make sure all the paint sticks. We're going to flip it over and do the same thing with the back. All right. All right, all right. So we have our uh, jacket all taped out. It's all ready for paint. Now, if you really want to be a butt stickler about um, prepping your jacket with this, this tape, you could put all the spots, you could put some newspaper underneath the spots that you want to keep the denim color. You could do that if you want. I'm not going to do that, but go right ahead if you want to do that. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to do that. But it is, it's definitely an option. So, but anyway, now we got our jacket all taped out, prepped. You want to use this step to go through and just cut off any excess tape you have hanging over. And just fucking make sure your seams are tight, you know, before we lay the paint down. Alright, we're going to lay the paint down. Lay the fucking smack down. So we're going to get right into the uh, painting part of the video. And like I said, I use this acrylic gloss paint. Um, I'm using black. This is a gray denim. So black makes it really pop. Um, I'm going to ramble a little bit real quick. If you're using like a blue denim... I would sh like stay away from white colors, yellow colors, yellow colors, like these really bright colors. Those don't really stick to blue denim that well. And they, they don't really like show through because you see the blue underneath. So just a heads up, if you're doing a blue denim, uh, paint that shit black. Okay, just avoid like bright colors with a blue denim. But this is a gray denim and I'm going to be doing black. So let's get right into it. And yeah, I'm using the gloss acrylic paint. I've used this before in my other videos, and like I say, this stuff will not wash off, okay? And once it's, like, part of the jacket, it adheres to the jacket, it becomes a part of the jacket, and it, like, turns into, like, this nice, rubbery leather texture. It's, like, an old-school thing that, uh, cross punks have been doing to their pants for, uh, forever, you know, since, like, Stonehenge, you know. But anyway, gloss acrylic paint... And also, one thing you don't want to do is, like, fucking, fucking splooge that shit on, like a Mormon boy on date night. You want to do nice, nice, thin layers, okay? And this is what I do. Like, I just come in, do a little bit, take your sponge brush or whatever you're using, and, and just work. Just work it in. Make sure it's a nice, even, even coat, okay? I'm doing this left-handed, but this is what you do. You know, you just splooge just a little bit on and just work it in all one layer okay i'm gonna be doing my first layer all nice one layer nice and smooth i'll show you when i'm done okay there we go we got our first layer we're gonna let it dry for like an hour it's really wet right now we're gonna let this first layer dry and then we're gonna hit with the second layer okay so while this first layer is drying we're gonna flip this bad boy around we're gonna do the front so we have the front of the jacket we're going to be hitting up with our first layer. We're going to be doing all this black. Down here black. This bottom seam black. And these pockets black. Alright. So let's get to it. Alright, alright. So we have our first layer on the front and the back done. And it looks it, it looks like shit because we're not done yet. But yeah, this is all just the first layer. Our next step is going to be going back and going over the second layer. You're going to want your first layer to sit and dry for like an hour. You can even let it sit overnight, you know. Just make sure this really is adhering to the paint. Just let it chill out, you know. And another thing with this first step is that you want to go in and make sure that your seams and like underneath your collars are also black. You know, and you could also go over here to your uh, cuffs, your leg cuffs, whatever you want to call these things wrist cuffs. I think that's the word I've been looking for all night. But you can also do the inside of the wrist cuffs black. I'm not going to do it, but you can. If you're one of those people that uh, unbutton your denim and like cuff it up to your arm, that's another fancy thing you could do. I might do it. I'll show you if I do. But anyway, just take your time. 
and make sure you really get around like these seams i still got a spot here like we got to go back and just make sure you get around those seams you know we're lazy and we are trashy and classy ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between i love you but yeah let's go on to the next step all right so second layer so when you're working on your second layer make sure you're heating up the spots where there is a little bit a little bit of denim showing underneath okay work on those spots extra and yeah just pretty much like the first step just set it up with another layer of your paint so here we are we're at the end of our panel painting uh, jacket adventure our paints dry so the last step is just to pull off the tape and just see how it looks and you know sometimes you're gonna have some like a little bit of over paint it don't matter, you know, because these are fucking punk jackets. They're metal jackets. They're going to look like shit. But hey, let's pull all the tape off and let's see what it looks like all together, you know. Let's pull it. It's like a Christmas morning. Let's see what we got. Oh, there we go. Pull that tape off. All right, all right, all right. We're going to flip it over and pull the back of the tape off. Tape on the back off, and then we'll show you what it looks like. Let's do the back real quick. I really want to do like a nice uh, back piece right here, a back patch. But yeah, here we are. Here we are. Let's make our giant ball of tape and stick it to some loser. But let's see. Let's see what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good. Sorry about the angle and the video quality, but it just really accentuates the lines within your denim jacket. It just makes it look, just makes it look a lot different than other denim jackets, you know. And you don't have to do it the same way I did it. You could even just do the seams, you know. Use this technique just to do the seams, paint them over, you know, whatever color you want, you know. But hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm flip it around and show you what it looks like. So here we go. This is what it looks like at the end. It's definitely unique. And like I said, you can use these techniques to even just do any part of a denim jacket you want. Just to change it up a bit. And uh, hey, if you're lucky, I might put my partner in this and uh, show you uh, what it looks like with them wearing it. You know, but... But yeah, here we get, you get the basic idea of what we're doing here. It's cool. It's going to make your denim jacket look different, unique, and I don't know. It's just fun. Just fuck around with it, you know. It's DIY. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's fun. Enjoy. Before I forget, after you get this paint on here, you're going to want to wear the, the denim for like a week or so, a couple of days. And it really breaks in this paint because right now it's kind of stiff but you want to break it in and then that's what will give you that like real rubbery leather texture to the denim yeah so break it in wear it a few days and yeah you can wash this wash it with cold water you can hand wash it you can machine wash it with cold water on delicate setting i wouldn't recommend putting it in the dryer but yeah, this paint's not going anywhere. It's going to be stuck on there. Yeah, just But once you break it in, because it's kind of stiff, just break it in. You'll be fine. Let's slip it around to the back. That's what it looks like. I'll be putting patches on this. Probably going to be uh, doing some more work on this jacket. So stay tuned.